Welcome to Inside Science TV. It's 6,000 feet deep, 277 miles long, and 18 miles wide. The Grand Canyon certainly is grand, but do you know what caused this colossal canyon to form? Um, weathering. A river flowing through there for like a really long time. Most agree it was erosion from the Colorado River, but exactly how that happened is still up for debate. Right now, we've got three or four different teams of geologists with different perspectives, and uh, we got to bring them all together. Geoscientist Bill Dickinson is dispelling a theory that the canyon was cut when the Hopi Lake drained and flooded the Kaibab Plateau. I don't think it's possible that Hopi Lake was ever deep enough to, to spill over the Kaibab Plateau. Dickinson says the lake would have had to be up to 1,500 feet deeper than it is now and there's little evidence that it even existed five to six million years ago. He believes the canyon was formed by the Colorado River's gradual erosion, flowing northwest across the plateau and exited where Utah, Arizona, and Nevada meet. There are five million people that visit the Grand Canyon every year from all over the world. It's flat embarrassing that the geologists cannot tell the park rangers exactly what to tell those people. A natural wonder that will intrigue scientists for many years to come. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.